Oh, basically Clark is naked, right? He doesn't have clothes, so we can put it 18 plus. We are going to try to recreate the move from Vin Diesel Clark movie. Was a Riddick, yeah. Riddick, yeah. He's kind of hostage, right? Hanging on the hand and uh, do this uh, weird pull over and muscle up and then whip and roll over on his body. Yeah, I mean, everybody who tried at least hand the rope understand that it's just two different shots, but we still think it's possible. 100%. Yeah, maybe not for us, but for circus performance, definitely. Uh, yeah, who works aerial straps and uh, I think we should try to do like a real world situation. Okay, so today I volunteer to be the enemy hostage number one. I don't know why, but we don't have a handcuffs like they have in a movie. I don't have handcuffs, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm surprised, but it's okay. I want you to tie me like like I'm your real enemy, you know, what would you do? And Well, first off, you wouldn't have hands, you wouldn't have fingers, and uh, no feet, no toes. I'd take both your eyes out, your tongue down. <laughs> okay, <your> stop, stop, stop. <laughs> yeah, just tighten me. You ready? I'm ready. So yeah. basically handcuff knot. Here, you put your hands through. Just tighten this, so nothing too too bad. I could put another safety knot on here. So for the most part, you could still get out to a degree as far as once you get up there. So hands are together, because if you watch Riddick, he was able to grab. Yeah, 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 he was so. like on the kind of bar or something. Well, yeah, no, I mean, as far as being able to grab the rope. This looks pretty simple though, but it's kind of tight. Oh, there's no way I can do acrobatics on this shit. Oh, we got Yeah, so strap worked perfect if you want to torture your hostage. And that was a loose handcuff. Now. Yeah, and it was loose. We didn't tie too much. So skin is fine. In this case, probably there is no way you can do anything. Or maybe you can. Yeah, let's make it uh, a little bit friendly. How long have I been here? Like a minute? Uh, like 30 seconds. Yeah, it's already hard. Okay, so he did it like this. And then... Oh. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Well, I don't know if it's a part of a warm up or I just probably a very nice hostage. I will probably stay there forever. Oh, he's moving. Maybe Jonathan Brown is the real Riddick. Dude, this is this is brutal thing. I still say it's possible if you get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right away. You actually you actually did a pretty decent attempt. Just under your body weight, it's it's tightened so well. Yeah. Oh, you sweat it so. Much. Yeah. <laughs> but awesome. I still say you know even with that I had a loop. Yeah, so. the, actually the thing that you pulled yourself with your legs and make this mm -hmm. end loose. Mm -hmm. Wow, that was impressive. Okay, we have bloody ribs here. Yep. I mean initially from the start clearly it would already be tight. But then again, it's like, you get that, you get it loose. There was that, that just loose point. So you just, from there, you just gotta, you know, push for it. You know, use teeth, whatever. So it's definitely possible, so. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna try one more. Okay. I think the shoes quality is a big thing. Mm-hmm. I, I actually don't see myself doing this whip and sweep. Uh, do you want to try one more? I'll go again, yeah. Okay, constant wrist pain came. I need your help. Alright. Well, at some point, just palms getting numb. I think your shoe quality is good. Because my uh, bare skin is not very grippy. Initially, I thought I was going to be able to pinch, grab, climb, pinch, grab, climb. But to be honest, I just don't got it right now. <laughs> I, I still think it's 100% possible. I just don't got it right now. So. Okay, okay. So, yeah. can I grab a ladder? Yeah, so see you uh, next week. 
Okay, I'm home. heading back home. Yeah, okay, bye. <laughs> I'll, I'll still get out. You know. uh, oh yeah, he will. Okay, okay, okay. Take the ladder. <laughs> take the ladder. You know the boots help a lot. So it's like, you know, be able to get that pinch right there and then create space. And you know, over time, you just keep doing it, working it, and it's like clearly in a real world situation i mean you're, you're already going to be dead tired you're tortured you're getting tortured so yeah yeah we should try to do this uh roll-up thing the, th the second part of the trick pull over muscle up i mean maybe for calisthenic guys it will be doable but for my shoulders it's like wow way too hard i love i love those challenges because <laughs> it's like that's like that what would you actually do you know so, yeah so. yeah okay do you want to try the second part of the challenge so when you rolled uh, yourself up like this mm -hmm and uh, okay i know that it's painful because you basically tight yourself with your body weight force so from here you have to go up so where, where have you seen that technique as far as like starting with the hands like that so i have no idea I think we just need a coach or something. Well, I need you to see what the video is to see exactly what you're trying to do. So. Technique-wise, I mean, clearly it's I mean, pretty tough with the ropes. So if anything, you start with something, you know. Something friendly. Something friendly, easier as far as just getting the technique down. And then from there, you can commit harder on the rope. So you commit to the, keeping your legs spread and just committing to the twist, committing to the catch. Mm -hmm. So a lot of it's just, you know, getting that muscle memory down. So you just gotta yeah. practice that. I saw you found somewhere clip the girl did a uh... On this uh, arrow, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's, she's using her leg, but it's still the same motion for the most part, as far as just, you know, keeping your legs. I should. So we have a, a bed sheet right here. <laughs> I don't have any silks, so I basically just took a bed sheet. So you just tighten with the socks? I tighten with socks because, I mean, it's a lot more slick than most silks, but it, it's still the same motion. So if anything, you know, if you can get it on this, you can get it on silks because it's. I guess it looks a little more thicker. You have more surface area. And this is a, uh, yeah. Yeah, so Some chalk and Clark. Hello, chalk buddy. And Clark. Hello, hello. Nice. Nice. Good job. Yeah. Useful? I think it can be working with the rope. Like, as far as doing the Riddick move, being able to get that whip, like most gymnasts, like. For, rings being able to get that whip coming up into it so just takes practice i mean circus performance training how many like 20 years <laughs> I, I mean it's one of those moves where you know it's like you just have to stay consistent with it you know yeah, i, I course, trained for so many different things it's like things... I, I think in general it's a good skill to have it is yes it is. well at least this is the rest <laughs> yeah resting point yeah <laughs> what good resting point yeah good rest point not man's friendly though did you see the twist and the grab? You know, it's easy for me when someone gives me instructions. Mm. Yeah, and... Uh, it's, it's, it's practice. Yeah, I, I know that I will waste, like, a lot of time. When you see the circus performer, make it look like an, an easy. It's like lot so of hard. <laughs> well, didn't re grab though. Damn, it, on the video, the dudes do it so easy, but the speed is so fast. In previous videos, when we tried to do, gain some skill, it required like day 300 attempts, and one took like 28 days. I think this will take more. And the more precious source that we have is the time. When you see like cool trick on the performance, we all understand that there's a hard work behind it and like a lot of a lot of effort and commitment, but the most precious is the amount of time that the person spent to gain the skill and share with everybody the beauty of it. I think I think 
the, the most valuable resource that we have is time. And unfortunately, in modern life, we're not rich enough to... Uh, other other resp responsibilities. Yeah. yeah, to spend our source the way we want it. Even it seems like we do, it's actually a very heavy topic to talk to. Whatever you see, cool trick on a cool Instagram page, taking like 15 seconds behind it, hard work, a lot of time. The person spent his life learning how to do this. So, do you want to hang it upside down? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. It's a good, good cool down. All right. Yep. Decompression time. <laughs> Yeah, use your foot. Nice. Yeah, this is easy one. Don't fall, because if you fall, it will be lifetime decompression. <laughs> well, Jonathan, thank you so much for your company. I really appreciate it. Uh, guys, check out Jonathan on Instagram, YouTube. He is absolutely not active over there. <laughs> Feel free to contact anytime. Riddick is a cool dude. <laughs> Hope you like the video and maybe we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> you stole from me. But he didn't. He's a very nice person. <laughs>